Hey guys, the Apple Employee here today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a Cydia tweak which allows you to get Siri GUI with voice on your iPhone 4. I only tested it on my GSM factory unlocked iPhone 4, so please do keep that in mind before installing it on any other device. Okay, so let's go ahead and hold down the home button for a couple of seconds. What time is it? As you guys can see, Siri now has sound and you do get the little spinning thing on the edges. Sorry, I am having trouble connecting to the network. As you guys can see, the only problem with it is that it does not yet connect to Apple servers. Yeah, but at least now you have sound enabled. And before, it never used to have sound. All you, all it would do would pop up and do nothing. Now you have sound and it at least does some stuff. Okay, and you also do get the little pop-up menu. Don't really know what that's called, but yeah. And if you go to the keyboard, you do get the little microphone thing. And it doesn't really work either. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what you need to add to install this. All you need to do is add a quick Cydia source and download I file. Let's go to manage sources. And you're gonna need to install this source. That one right there. The Christ Opulus.com. I should have a caption right now saying the source if you guys can't see that. And you have to install this package called Siri Night. Okay, and once you install that, it's not going to ask you to reboot, but in order for this to work, you will need to boot your device tethered with Red Snow. If, yeah, boot your device tethered or else it will not show up. And if you go into Settings, General, and you should now see Siri tab. Yeah, but before you enable it, uh, go into, or you could enable it, like I have it enabled, but uh, once you, if you open it, if you try to use Siri, it will, it will be really laggy and it won't work. So what you need to do next is install iFile. You can get the cracked or paid version, it doesn't really matter, but you do need iFile in order for it to work smoothly. So open up iFile and go to var go to mobile hold on a second go to mobile library go to preferences did I skip it already there you go preferences and you're gonna go. You're gonna find the. Uh, I should have it written down on a piece of paper. Com. Apple Assistant. Let's go ahead and find that real quick. There you go. And you're gonna need to hit Text Viewer. And you're gonna have to hit Edit. And you're gonna have to. First of all, I read it. You can't really see it, so I read it down on a piece of paper. Uh, if you scroll halfway, you're gonna see this sentence called https guzani.apple.com.apple. What you're gonna need to do there, as you guys can see, there originally is an S there, but what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to delete the S. That's all you have to do is just delete the S, and once you do that, just go ahead and click save. And you're good to go. What you need to do after that is respring your device. And you should now have a full working Siri on your device without any lag. What time is it? Yeah, and Siri's going to work perfectly. Do keep in mind, if you do not do the iFile, Siri's going to be really slow and laggy. It's just not going to work properly. So do install the... Sorry. I am having trouble. Do, do install, do what you have to do with iFile or else it's not going to work the same. It's going to be very laggy like it was for me. Yeah, so 
If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And please do follow me on Twitter. I'll have my Twitter username somewhere right here.